guys from Foundry Miniatures, I have policemen on penny farthings. How much cool, how better could that be? How much cooler could that be? It's just, if it was any cooler, they'd fall off their bikes because the ground would be frozen. It's just, I, when I first seen these come in, I thought, that looks really well, but I don't know how I'd ever use them. And now with reading my Empire of Death book, these guys are definitely getting in in some form or other. We'll get our blister open here to see how we look. You have three of these sort of cavalry-esque bases, I call them. I believe they're 20mm by 40mm bases to stick your, your mad biker coppers onto. And in here we have, we just, just entangle everybody are three penny farthings, uh, one, two. They're basically just the same, guys. Oh, get them under the camera. We have our three penny farthings here. Straightforward little models, all look the job. Penny farthings uh, did move fast, but their, their main downside was breaking because you could go forward over the handlebars very, very, easily until they invented gears and bikes the same size but penny farthings are just so so cool i can't get over the fact i've actually got them in and here we have our three constables with their truncheons and one guy at the end well I'll show them one time this guy at the end here is blowing his whistle to inform the other police quick quick get on your bike it's great. Maggie Thatcher would have loved this. Get on your bike. And we have our two guys, one-handed with the truncheon in the other hand, heading off to smite some vampires or something, if you're playing that uh, Empire of Death. And I'm going to show you the bases again. I'm getting so much carried away, guys. I'm going to go and build my little biked-up covers, and we'll get to see what they look like in the second half, but I'm just carried away. I'll see you then, guys. Guys, now I have probably my most entertaining little set of models that I have seen in a long time. These are penny farthing covers. They're great. On the old penny farthing, that really, really, every time I look at them, this is a fairly accurate representation of it. They look so unstable. No wonder so many people went over the handlebars. This is uh, your policeman blowing his whistle as, as they did in those days to attract the attention of more policemen. But it's just such a fun, cool looking, precarious little kit that you just look like so much if you're riding down the street into a confrontation, a fight or something. It just looks so precarious and so dangerous, a thing to do. Please bring back cavalry, bring back horse police if you're stuck on one of these things. But really cool looking little model. That's your guy blowing his whistle, and then you get a couple of these guys. This guy's sitting further back. He doesn't want to go over the handlebars with his truncheon. Again, from the other side, with his truncheon, heading down the street. The classic, that classic police sort of look, burly chested, all the rest. And our final little guy doing the same. Guys, I couldn't say there's lots of games you could play these in. Probably. Empire of the Dead is one of the few games you could use them in. But what I do think of them is they're great. They look great. They Whoever came up with this was on a good day that day because I think they just look the part. I wish I, I played more games that I could actually stick these guys in. Here comes my bikers. They're brilliant as far as I'm concerned. But it's up to you guys. What, what else could you use them for? What else would, would you like to use them for? Stick in some comments and I'll get on. I'll see you in the next one.